we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on this great day? <laughs> nothing, nothing. No more day all gone. <laughs> Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now? Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean are Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Because I know y'all always see us on the street and be like, man, I love what y'all doing, keep it up. We love the content, how can we support the brand? This is how you can support the brand under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section below. Only on YouTube, you can find a link that says join our membership. Click that link. Follow all the instructions. Y'all gonna see some stuff that people been asking for for years and wondering where the full interview is. That's where you can find all the content that you cannot find nowhere else is become a member. Do what I say and click it. You won't regret it. Do Thank you for say, all the love click and support. It and you won't regret it. I agree. Mm. Check it, man. Hey, man, we're in here today, man. We got a very, very special guest, man. This brother right here been working, man. I started researching him and found out it's a jewel in the city, man. Head hunch or mirrors in the building. What's going on, man? What's going What's on? What's going on, man? How y'all doing? How y'all man, doing? we hanging in there, man. I just, uh, like I said, I crept up on your music, man, because of somebody, you know, you know who. You know, he put it in my <laughs> ear, and uh, next thing you know, I'm like, oh, man, this thing got a body of work, man. So let's get to it the way but you do I wanna it. I want to know, why they call you head honcho? Let me start head off like that. Honcho. Where you get the name? You know, when you think about head mm. honcho, I'm thinking about somebody in charge. Yeah. What's up? I had got head honcho from, it was a guy, like, real close to the family, really like an uncle. He had died, like, 2018. Mm. And he, he had the honcho clothing, like, he was pushing his own brand. Okay. So then... That's when I was like, you know, head honcho. Like, head honcho. I'm going to run with it. Head honcho a mirror. So that's what we're doing. I like it, though. I really do. So you were born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Yes. What part? East Dallas. East Dallas. Yeah. Okay. Um, siblings? Oh, no. You, you have a sister, right? Yeah. Do you I have any brothers? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm the youngest. I'm the only boy. You're the youngest. Yeah. So how many girls? I got Talia, DeAndra, Regina, and I got Chana. How does it feel like growing up being the only boy and the baby boy that too? Spoil. Nah, it's just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love my sister though. But it was boring though, only boy. Like on my granny side, I was the only boy grandchild for the mm-hmm. longest. So, yeah. And I bet you they don't look at you as no little brother because you tall and you big. Like, they, shoot. They still do. They, be, they, they look at you like yeah. little brother. Yeah, they look at me, yeah. They used to beat you up? No, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. Okay, because I always heard that when a guy raised with all these uh-huh. girls, they're like they know how to get the girls because of that. It's like you have an insider trick. Was it like that for you growing up? For sure, for sure. Raised around women, like yo. Yeah. Tell me something you learned raised around women that helped you in your relationships. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> let me see. Let me think. I learned that, like, shoot, when they mad, they just mad. Like, just and you can't go back and forth with them. Like, just go on, you going to leave or just, you know, just let them say what they're going to say. I agree with you 100%, young man. <laughs> nah, for sure. You hit that real, real tough on the knob. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Because you seen that with your sisters. It. Yeah, I seen that with my sisters, for sure. Sisters, oh, okay. my mama. Yeah. Uh-huh. So were you raised with your mom and dad in the same household? Nah, no. No? Not in the same household. In the beginning it was, right? I mean, I was so young, I don't really remember. You don't remember? How old were you when? I think they was, yeah, at the point, yeah. yeah. How old, do you know how old were you when he left? Or they broke separate? I don't know. You you were that young. I was young, I don't remember. Okay, did it affect you though? Growing up, not having your dad in the household compared to, because he was still a part of your life? Yeah, he was still a part of my life. He didn't really just, affect me that much because I still was seeing them the mm-hmm. same as if we was in the same household so okay. it didn't really affect me that much because I hear men now um, grown would say you know there is a difference there is a difference when a child wakes up and know that there's a mom and dad there in the same household you're yeah. able to implement certain rules right then and there when certain things happen and stuff like that rather than being yeah. somewhere else and she have to call come get your son da 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 you know yeah. what I mean yeah I, I get what you're saying yeah, cause you have kids now no I don't have no kids no kids no kids okay yeah no yeah kids. yeah he, he chilling he ain't trying to get yeah, no I'm kids chilling right now he ain't trying <laughs> yeah. to get no kids right now the one thing I can't can say is uh, 
the music definitely is a place where you feel comfortable because yeah. talking to you here versus listening to you on the music, you don't never stop rapping here. I can't hardly get a word out of you. What's going mm -hmm. on? That nah. that same <laughs> energy is not the same, boy. You nah. when you hear that music. He ain't playing no games. He get in the zone, man. Doctor he Heckle and Mr. Yeah, Jack, Mr. Yeah, Hyde. Yeah, yeah, Two man. different personalities. Nah, you know I just be chilling. Like I'm just laid back. I be chilling. So yeah, but I got a question. Go so because um, I know that your dad had went away for a while, um, but growing up while he was gone, um, did you see that absence? Did you feel no, that absence? See, when my dad went to jail, he did. He went to jail when my sister was born. Okay. I was born. I I was born once he got out of jail. Oh, so okay. So you did I not experience, experience that. Yeah, that at all. He was in jail when my sister. Okay. Was got it. Wow. I wasn't born yet. Yeah. He had me once he got out of jail. Okay. Got it. That's hard too. That's kind of like me mm -hmm. having uh, my our two kids, mm -hmm. but the ones before. They know, but yeah. the younger ones. Same don't. thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know. Um, you just basically, hey man, you got the you got the better better half. To yeah. be honest with you, because when a person is is going through and get you know pretty much change up their whole strategy, you get you know the new improved. You know what I'm saying? But the old is needed. You know what I'm saying? You need yeah. both of it to make one. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. So that's the real deal. Like, what are some things that when you think about uh, just family and you you know you being a brother that's now for the good? You in them streets now, man. You know what I'm saying? You basically, you outside. How old was you when you really first started really just getting out into the community? You had, you from East Dallas. Yeah. So how how old was you when you really just just started getting out there seeing what, what them streets do? I'd say like, probably like 15, 16. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already, already seen what was going on because like our street, like, you know what I'm saying? I seen my uncles down, you know, we always have a, events and block parties so as I'm walking around to the walking to the store or whatever I'm seeing what's going on in the streets you know what I'm saying but as far as me like actually getting out there on my own probably like 15 16 the stories you heard about your dad into lucky right the, yeah. the stories you would hear how did that how did that affect you like you would hear like man your dad is reason blah 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 you know because he's the yeah. founder of you know that 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 whole blood movement when you when it come down to East Dallas and yeah. all that happened like how, what how did it affect you hearing them stories it really didn't affect me like I just you know I just like it is what it is, you know. I, yeah. It didn't really just affect me, like. But as a kid, like young, it was a lot of people coming up, like, you know, your daddy will do this, do that. So you know, but it really, I just really never really just thought about it, you know. It, yeah. it didn't just, make you walk out there with your chest, you know, nah, stuck out like, like yeah, I, I'm. I ain't get cocky or nothing. Like it just, you know, that was what it was. That what pops had going on, you know. So, you know, it was what it, it is. What it is. Did he ever talk to you about it? Uh, about yeah. the what? Because he got books out now. For, yeah, for sure, I got his stuff. book at the house. He signed it for to, me. Yeah, I used to read the little newspaper stuff. He had his office stuff. I used to, you know what I'm saying? I Google and look it up myself, you know. But you know, it is what it is. Like, yeah, it didn't really just make me be like, oh, my dad, it is. I can, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm better than somebody, or I'm tough, or who Nah, be me, you know what I'm saying? What Pops did, that's what he did, you know? Yeah, but some of the things that that he represented, it it didn't ever fester back up or affect you in any kind of way. Nah. Which is a good thing. Nah. Because it, it, it don't always have to go that way, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It could have been some things that was lingering, because I know them streets is different, and niggas is, you know, different people feel different ways about different things that happen in the streets. Yeah. So you have to walk outside and face the mad, oh, the madness because of what had happened in some situations. Thank yeah. God yours wasn't that way. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I feel where you come from. Yeah, because it could have been could like been that. It could have been different. But nah, it was, he ain't never known like that go on. Cool. Like, yeah. so, uh, you, you, like I said, you got that, that song Master P. Yeah, Master P. Do you you, uh, on, so. you like you? Yeah, that's that that thing banging. I listened yeah. to it uh, last night and this morning. I was like, okay, he got this thing yeah. going. Like, what inspired you? I know, of course, Master P. But yeah. did you really you you know? Did you know about that 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 break break them off some and all that? Yeah. Did you I really had, know? I already, I already had knew. Did you about really it. really know? Yeah, I got like my uncles, my pops, and them. Like they listen to that music on the regular. So like, I grew up listening to like that type of music. So like, once Monster sent the beat and I heard, it, I was like. Oh yeah, this one of the ones like this gonna touch the older crowd, the young generation. 
if you know, you know. But I know the old generation, they gonna know. Well, I'm gonna ask show. Silk if he heard it, cause me and him talk like every probably once or twice a week. Now we done became real big, big partners. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him. You hear that? I'm gonna send it to him. Yeah. And, and see what he tell me. Yeah. I'm gonna let you know, okay? <laughs> yeah, let me know. Let me know what he say, man. Nah, cause that that's hard that you would pay homage like that as a young dude like you For are. Sure. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it get lost in the sauce. That's one of my biggest yeah. like man, like do they are they gonna remember is the foundation being built because yeah. and I'm not gonna go into this too deep, but like a lot of time a lot of these clouded situations where the way they report on it in hip hop, they don't report on it as being as big as it was for us down here. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Cause we on the we in the we in the South. So a lot of times different people who project what's going on in entertainment, what's going on in music, they don't really give it the respect, just due respect. So we have to make sure we keep talking about it. So Not for you sure. to do that was a huge move for me. Not for sure. Yeah, I I'm definitely that's in the on the playlist now. Not you know what I'm saying? Sure. Not for sure. Not for sure. Not. Mass P one So when you say what you said about the history, like it really is uh a thing where you knew the older cats. I'm one of them older cats that yeah. really resonated with friends of KLC and all them, all them yeah. No Limit boys. So I really rock with that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. appreciate that, man. So, yeah, for sure. you know, like Freddie out. What was that? What was that verse you said? Was that on that one? Let me see. It, it was yeah, one of. It that was, was it. On, that it was, was it. Down. I thought it was like not Freddie out, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. like what made you put that in there? No, Freddie, that's my boy. Like, okay, Freddie always show love. Like. I always gave me free game. Like he, he gave me a free verse right before he went to jail. Like wow, right before he went, he just sent me some. I sent it, he sent it back probably like in forty five minutes, quick. You know what I'm saying? So I just want when I said that, it just was, you know what I'm saying? Throw big homie, he a big homie in the game. Throw his name in the song, keep his name alive while he was locked down. He back now, so you know. He's up now. Man, a lot of people have good stories about Freddie when it come down to even them being locked up or going yeah. through some stuff. You know, like. Uh, like my boy Free uh, uh, Hot Boy West Different people That have been on the show yeah. That just pay homage To the whole situation Of how things You know Were layered here in Dallas Like And yeah. for you to You know throw his, uh, throw his name in there You know what I mean That was a big move For me When I heard it Like yeah That's where it yeah. supposed to go man Just to Like I say You hitting sure. everything On every cylinder yeah, I'm, why, sure. I'm looking When I'm looking I'm And detailing it I'm paying homage And like You know I'm big on it yeah, Even people they fly with their respect, you know. Mm -hmm. I ain't no hate at, at all, you know. I'm big on that paying homage. What do you think about when people look at you and say you, you know, you the, the new Dallas? Like, explain to me what the new Dallas represent to you. New Dallas is right now. It's, it's a group of artists coming together from different hoods, all on one accord. We all trying to get to the top. Unity, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no hating going on. We all sticking together. Just, we got to see the behind us. That's, that's what's going on, New Delhi. I heard you saying a verse. Y'all not on that messy ish. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, we ain't on no messy type time yeah. or none of that. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we we are when we with each other. We strategize. We need to be doing this. You got to show this week. We need to be there. We do. Wow. That's we on. You know what I'm saying? We on some flock getting money. You know what I'm saying? We. We trying to get to the top. It's M's on the floor. You know yeah, I seen Z. I think it was Z and that dough in, 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 in your video and all yeah, that. Like Z that stuff yeah, that's, matter, man. That's like Brody. that's kind of like the way the you know the 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 whole thing happened in Dallas on that earlier part when it come to the the, the yellow beeses and uh, traps and mo threes and uh, what's that boy go yeah yo like you seen that movement early yeah. on. Then before that, you seen Tom Tom and. Big Tuck and all these different people that were rocking yeah. out back then, and the you know uh, uh, shoot, I'm gonna say Gator Man and 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 just a whole litany of guys. They came up as peers, yeah. and to see you guys with this new you know new Dallas movement is something that that was needed and was refreshing to see. Nah, you know what sure. I mean? Yeah, so it, I appreciate it, it that. Show, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, what's the when when, I, when all y'all y'all got a, a anthem together yet? Y'all ain't putting nothing together we, all as a whole. We, all us on there. Yeah. we ain't got one. Y'all got to come on with, with it, man. We got some. We're like, okay, he on there, he on there. You no, know, but all us, we working on it right now. That'll sure. be hard. I love it's to see that, hard. man. Like I said, sure. you the we're first New Dallas dude been been brought on brought to me. Like it's a bunch of them. I've been on the phones, but like I said, uh, you 
you had strong influence over here. So I was like, okay, I got to get him in. Then when I ran, ran the check on you, they was like, man, you got to do him. You got to do him. All the dudes that I talked to. Yeah. So you got a lot of respect from people who not even, you know, may not even be just in Dallas, but watching Dallas too. So yeah, I, yeah you know, trill talk, no pill talk. One of them. I, I hit him up and say, man, you know this dude. He like, man, you gotta, you gotta interview him, man. He one of them ones, man. He, his music nice. Cause you gotta oh, realize, I be tapped out. I be back ducked off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I, if I'm brought, if somebody brings you to my attention, that's when I go research and start looking. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's how that be. So when Low Deezy hit me up and different people, you know, saying how good the music was, looking into the music, it was dope. You know what I mean? So yeah. thank you. Yeah, I keep hearing about this new Dallas, you know, old Dallas and stuff like that. How you think about what's the difference between the new Dallas movement compared to what the old Dallas used to be? You know, the old Dallas, you know, they was on some unity stuff too, but you know what, whatever happened mm -hmm. when it broke up, you know, we just trying to make sure that don't happen. You know what I'm saying? We just make sure everybody on one accord, ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? I like that. Getting into it or sleep don't like each other. We, we, we just making sure we all on the same accord. Like, oh, new dads, they did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Still doing their thing, you know? Right. We pay homage to them all the time, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we just make sure everybody. So you learn from their mistakes. Yeah, for sure. Trying wow. to create a better future for Dallas. Yeah, for sure. Better image. Better image, yeah. I like that. Show for yeah. Dallas, yeah. yeah, like I said, we had some hiccups, but it was some great time, man. When you go back, I'm old, so, you know, from Quint Black to all the different people, Nemesis, all these people, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's been a lot of people that were signature dudes, you know, in the Dallas market. So, you know, of course, we're going to have, you, people going to have their ups and downs in every hood, you know what I'm saying? But no, Dallas sure. on a whole, that was the whole purpose of just trying to, you got people that look, like Don Chief and all these people that had some good runs, man, that did yeah, some great things. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you got to give it up to these guys who, what about the Chiefs who didn't really get into nobody else's stuff yeah. and stayed clear and no, he did his sure. thing, all so you can't they, really they leave legends, him out. Like, yeah, they legend like, Ain't, and you know Darrow, I can't forget about Darrow. Darrow, he a legend. You know what I'm saying? Like, These guys yeah. was all them legend, Fat Pimp, everybody. Mm, that's like, right. They were one to one. Yeah, sometimes like when you look at them, they yeah, Luchi, Pookie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you got some signature moves. So I just don't want to. I mean, Yella dope too, like, but all yeah. of them, and, and Mo3 was dope, all these guys, Trap Boy, but you got some premier guys who came in the game, who yeah. paved the way. We, uh, just, we just basically the new generation. To correct, you know you're just saying? the new generation. We're just the new generation. And, and like we're I said, I, would you work with anybody from that old generation? Or, For you sure. Know, you see what I'm saying? As far sure. as to pay homage, like, in a way to where they get some. For sure. Uh, uh, I got a song with Chief. You do? I got a song with Chief, yeah. That's hard. What, what's Is the name? Because I didn't see that one. Um, we ain't even picked the name. It's his song. Oh, okay. It, it okay. ain't out yet. The, it, ain't, it ain't out yet. Okay. That, I know I didn't see it. I done, boy, I done heard up and talk to you about that. I'm yeah. old, nigga. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna checking it, it out. It ain't out yet. <laughs> we got a bad one, though, yeah. So yeah. when you do something like that, you incorporate the, the new Dallas sound compared to the old Dallas on when you do the collab? Or how do you do I your just, collab? I just do my thing. Like, just do your I, thing. I just do me. Okay. It don't be like no particular sound. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm just going to... Get the job done. If you had to do. name your sound or name what type of artist are you, what would you say about your music? I say like my music, the sound I say is, it just it's just a honcho sound, you know. My music gonna motivate you to get up, get some money or something, you know. Have you feeling good? You know, you in a bad mood? Just play my music. So you mainly talking to the men, or are you talking to both men Male or women? and females? So, so you do club bangers too, and like I don't really just be in the studio like I need a club banger. You know, I just make the songs, and mm. if they just if they you know what I'm saying if the club be like okay, then you know. But I don't just be going in there like I need a club song. Really? Yeah. Because I hear a lot of artists always talk about when, I, especially when I do an album. Yeah. They're always like, well, I got to have something for the ladies. I got to have something for my thugs. I got to yeah. have something for the club. Yeah. They try to purposely put certain songs for certain people yeah. when you're trying to do a whole project. Yeah, for sure. Like when, I just, when I'm working on, well, I'm, I'm finished with my album. Mm -hmm. It's going to drop. But when I what, when dropping, is it dropping? We was pushing for this month, but it'll probably be next month for sure. Mm -hmm. What's the name uh, of your album? Ain't Nothing Bigger. Ain't Nothing Bigger. Ain't Nothing Bigger, the album on the way. I wow. like it. Yeah. What's the hit song on there? 
it's really no skips. Every song's on there hard. Really? Every single Every one? Every song. It's no Going skips. Going in. Every song. It's no skips. Yeah. But making it, after I made the song, and we, after I made all the songs and we listened to it, mm-hmm. and my people giving me feedback, they'll say like, okay, yeah, this one right here, yeah, I can hear this in the club. Ooh, doo, doo. Okay. But like, I wasn't just in there like, Dang, I need to make a song for the club. Yeah, know? because people do think about that. Like, yeah. this one for the ladies. Because you want to cater yeah. to everybody, so to say. Yeah, I made one for the ladies on there for sure. What's it called? Uh, you the one. You the one? That's yeah. Can you give me a little bit out of it? Uh, what did I say? <laughs> I got to remember. Let me see. You going to give me the hook? I don't even have no hook. No oh, you don't have no, no hook, hook in there? No hook. And it's just that rolling. song or I'm all really of them don't have no hook? Nah, just that song. Just that song. I got songs with hooks on her. I'm okay, well, just give me a good part in that one. That's going to touch my heart. And I'm trying to see. I've been making so much music every day. <laughs> it's like, hard to listen to my songs. If you like, turn that you, beat on, you're going to know it. Yeah, yo, yo, I got to listen to it. You got to have that beat. Yeah. I got to listen to it. You don't listen to your own songs? I do, but I make he so much music. On. I go to the studio every day. Right. So once I hear the song and I listen to it one, one time, like when I leave, now it's old to me. I'm on to the next on song. To the you know next what I'm one. Yeah. I understand that, man, because when you got a lot going on, man. Until you're performing and you have to perform the no, song no, no, over no. and when over, you then you're going to remember it's gonna it. Come. Yeah, when it's a hit, it's coming. You're going to definitely get it when it's a hit because you got to keep singing it over and over again. They're going to tell you which one right. they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? On that pun faking, man, you said that Greenhouse on Fra- uh, 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 on Fraser Street. Like, man. what does that mean to you? That Greenhouse, like, that's where it started at. <laughs> that's, that's why I wanted to ask you about green, that. That's Greenhouse. Like, that's Greenhouse. Been having that house. This, that house was there before me, before, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Everybody done lived in that house. Like, that's the family house. Like, that greenhouse made me, like, sitting on that porch as a young and seeing Unc Pops them pull yeah. up. Like, it was a lot of motivation. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. A lot, lot, of, lot, of, lot of hustling, a lot of, yeah. lot of trying to make sure a nigga can yeah. eat the ends over there. It was, yeah, but it was, the food in there, how was that food in there? <laughs> food still going crazy. Like, <laughs> Like, got a blow granny phone down every Sunday morning, like, trying to get a plate. Like, can you cook good. like granny? No, I ain't going to cap. <laughs> granny can cook, right? You need, you need to no learn. Skills, you need to like, get in the kitchen with granny and be like. I need to. That's man. what I, you know what? You just yeah, because she ain't going to be here that. forever. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm, then you're going to be my, trying to find that taste after that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit yeah. my granny up for sure. Right, but, you have to. But I think you you can, when my mom passed away, I, I could taste the food and I could tell what was in it. That, it's crazy. Yeah, he You start thinking about it and you start trying to yeah. figure it out. You can feel that taste and you start yeah. remembering what she was doing in that kitchen. No, and you Because sure. you were seeing it, but it was subconsciously in your mind. For so sure. there's a lot of stuff that you've seen her, those packages start to come back to your recollection whether it was Lyra seasoning whether it was whatever you're going to be yeah. like yeah I remember she used to have that and now you remember seeing yeah. that and then you start to putting it together God going to make it happen for you you don't have to worry about that she's still here you need to get in yeah, there ask her, but I'm telling yeah. you still it's going to be the way you're going to twang it in the, in the end yeah. watch what I tell you yeah. <laughs> I just know because of the experience of losing somebody yeah, he's done it he done it in I the had to do many it times. Like, I got to do this for my kids they got to taste what mama made yeah, and it come back sure. to me, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I call a couple of people like, did she put this? Why did she put that? And that's how they go down, because yeah. her sister's still alive, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that's how that thing be going, man. Like you said on there also that Pops got out the streets on there, and he was on that video as well. Yeah. Like, how big was that to have him on the video with you? You know, that was big, <laughs> you know, I'm letting him know, like, Pops got out the streets, you know. He went, he, he found his own lane, you know what I'm saying? Do what he do, like, yeah. that's hard, like, Proud of him. He motivation. You know, yeah. I talk to him almost every day. He give me free game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He let me know you ain't got to be in the streets to make money. You know what yeah, you yeah. Can, you can find something else you want to do, you know. Yeah, shout out to them boys, man. I talked to Corey. Was it last night? Night before last. Mm-hmm. I was in there late. Like, I talked to Corey, and, and, and like I said, those those guys definitely doing their thing in Dallas trying to help uh, nah, cause with sure. OGU. So I always yeah. have to show love to that. Just somebody even trying any. It's yeah. big for me because a lot of people walk around. A lot of our churches, a lot of places just close their eyes to a lot of things. Some of them just going to be real and look at, you know, what they got going on. But those guys try to get out there in the streets, and that matters because they come from that. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's a good thing, man. Like, so, um, yeah, you 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 did that uh, TRX music. Yeah. TRX music had that, 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 that hit them up beat. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? You was basically go. You know, uh, it, it really yeah. an older song. Don't look any further that they yeah, come from. Sure. Y'all niggas think that's really just Pac, but it's another older cat, Dennis, that did that. Yo, like, I but how? Know that. Yeah, but yeah. how did? You, yeah, it's, it, it, it keeps going back and back because yeah. everybody resampling stuff. Don't think yeah. you just sampled him. No, he sampled nah, somebody too. Gonna go <laughs> yeah. Like, so how was it just picking that song and saying I want to do something to that beat? I really just heard the beat and I was just like. Yeah, I just want, I just went to the studio. I'm like, yeah, I, w- I want to do this right here. Like, just got in that zone and just did the beat, you know. You know, Pac, that's a legend. Hey, he was right there. You see him over there at the big picture? For sure. Like, we not a just, game. We were just having, this was just yesterday. We were just having a debate on the block. We were saying, like, who y'all put in y'all Mount Rushmore? Like, you know what I'm saying? Five. I'm talking to the older cats, my uncle now. Mm-hmm. Everybody said Pac. They say like, they Pac hit different. They say, like, so I asked them, like, so when Pac died, like, how was it out here? Like, when he died, mm-hmm. like, right when y'all, everybody got the news, they say, they say, shoot, everybody crazy. was hurt. They say people really, like, crying tears, like, they getting know, tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, was, I was on lock, so I, yeah, I but I remember. Uncle, my uncle said he was locked up when it happened. He say, he seen grown men shed tears behind Pac, like, Pac was one to one. And didn't even yeah. know him personally, mm-hmm. but yeah, he's like, they crying. It was so cinematic because when you know they had that uh 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 that I ain't mad at your video come out where he wearing that all white so it was so yeah. you know cinematic it was so it was almost was that like, after he passed away yeah it was right after and he wore yeah. white and he was talking to uh Red Fox on there they had a look alike on there like he had went to heaven and it was like dang man like this is really like this this here was like it was almost planned out yeah. and he had the the machiavelli and all that stuff so it made people feel like like damn like he ain't really gone but the ones who really were close to him knew that it was over yeah. and a lot of people it, it sent a lot of mixed different signals out some people were happy he was gone he was hard on the east coast so from that sample you seen on that hit him up so yeah. everybody wasn't just the ones who was against him was against him. It was a real it was situation going on with that as well. So yeah. we got to remember that. And, you know, June 16, 1971, you know, was when, he'd be the same age as me, me and him, same age. I, so I just I always think about that. And I was a big fan of his even before he when he was with Digital Underground, Round and Round and all that stuff. I, I, I Me Against the World was probably one of my favorite albums uh, out of all of them. And I know everybody else was. More like uh, uh, that other one that he had, uh, uh, the one with the double CD, um, All Eyes on Me. You know, that was, the, so yeah. it's a lot of, he got some good music, man. You can go back down and it didn't yeah, stop pop. playing. I hadn't seen nobody music that lasted that long after they were gone. Yeah. To, he got the record on that to me. Pac was, oh, Pac other than was Michael old. Jackson. No, I'm talking about music, Talkin new music rap. coming out. New music coming out, like he still was here. Yeah. He rapped, he worked that hard, like yeah. you said, Pac you was in the was studio. Hard, like, that was way before my time, but for me to be young and still. Like, listen to Pac, that's how you know his music. Like, he got time in his hits. Like, you know, Pac, Pac, how old Pac are you? was one, I'm 23. Yeah, my daughter, she she's uh, 19, and she got yeah. a picture of Pac in the car. Yeah. And she listened to Pac, like, it's kind of how you raise yeah, him, too. Was, Pac was different, yeah. Yeah, he he, he touching people's lives to this day. It was hard. Man. That's hard, man. So, what do you think about like like when it come down to these Texas uh, uh, patriarchs? Like, what's your uh, what's your uh, take on that? As far as the Texas artists that you look up to, you know, grew up on in Houston for sure. For sure, yeah, like, yeah. Like, for sure, like it's hard to get away to, from. It. It's hard to get away from, like. They got timeless hits, classes like yeah, Scarface and man. who's your favorite? UGK and all who's your way. favorite Houston artist? Like for us back then, yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I like that Fat Pat. Tops keep dropping. Fat Pat was hard. <laughs> Big Mo was hard. Big Mo was hard. Like, Mo was going there and singing on them hooks like he was hard. Hawk was hard. Man, it's really hard to say. Like, Thug Slim Thug was hard. Z- Man, I can't even pick. <laughs> hey, all them boys was hard. I'm, I'm just be real. Like, I can't even just pick. Like, cause who is new? Who is new Houston that you like? New Houston that I like. Mm-hmm. Who I listen to? Little Jeremy. Little Jeremy. Shout out Little Jeremy, Jeremy, man. Good dope little dude, man. Little Jeremy hard. Yeah, yeah. Little Jeremy, Jeremy man. Hard. That yeah, he going in. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a, it's some it, it, them new dudes is something else over there too, man. When you think about it, so y'all y'all have a link with them or you you know? Yeah, yeah, we don't link with the German. Yeah, we go to Houston all the time. Oh uh, yeah, y'all pull up. Yeah. I, what kind of love y'all get? Because they say lo- love is. I know I get a lot I ain't of love. Gonna in Houston. Lie, we get love in Houston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Houston, they love us. I ain't gonna lie, we get love. They gonna play our music. They show us love in Houston for sure. Wow. When it comes down to your videos, a lot of times I see you link up with Hello Mello. Yeah, yeah. How, how's that? Like, like, what made you tap into him for? Is him being the one the videographer for you? No, Melo, like Melo, that's my guy. You know, I look at Melo like I say, I tell Melo all the time, like, I don't really see nobody shoot more videos than Melo. Like, <laughs> Melo shooting two, three videos a day. You know what I'm saying? Every day, literally, like Melo working every day. You know what I'm yeah, saying? He working his butt off. Melo one the ones in the camera. You know what I'm saying? In the in the camera world, like I, I try to, to get, him. I had to tap in with Melo. I tried to get him outside when I first started boss talk. I called him, yeah. he got on the phone with me. He's like, no, I ain't doing no interview. But, yeah. but at the end of the day, he respected, you know, what yeah. I had going. Very, yeah, very sure. dope conversation. I just talked to him on the phone at once. You know, I just always try to show love because I knew already, like I said, toe half paint last night. Like, yeah. I went for the videographers earlier. You know, I did like all kind of videographers. I can go back everybody. Even from East Texas, he he he'd HD, and I came all the way back up here dealing with half paint and all of these different ones. Uh, Prophecy been on here, so yeah. I just tried to link with I the one. I just shot a video of Prophecy. Yeah, yesterday. yeah, I, I did that first, like yeah. before. How was that shooting the video with him? That was my second video I done shot with him. Prophecy hard. He hard, ain't he? Yeah, he hard. Yeah. yeah, I knew him when he before he even started doing that. He was coming here to this store. Yeah, and that's how we got tight. That's why yeah. I'm. Still to this day, I'm the only one to interview him. He ain't, he don't even do interviews. But sure, if I call him, he coming cause of the way we linked up. Yeah. It was like before he even had a camera. You know, he was barely moving around with a little cipher, yeah. and I I just showed love like like just meeting early on. God sometimes link things together that you don't even understand why you doing them when you doing them early on. You know, and no, I know sure. you probably can you know relate. You know what I'm saying? How how important is God, man, when it come down to who you are as a person? <laughs> Come on, very important. Very important, like, shh, come on now. Like, very, I don't even go, I, I ain't gonna cap like I go to church. No, I ain't, anymore, I ain't but, even, I'm asking about that God, personal relationship. Bro. Like, God, like, yeah, you gotta, gotta have that relationship with God, like, you know what I'm saying? Having them conversations them with him conversation, when nobody else ain't around. Them conversation, like, I mean, I, yeah, for sure. Conversation, like, got to thank God for them blessings. Come on, man. Every, Every day, day, right? Gotta thank him for waking you up. Just to, It'd be the small thing. Come like, on, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, the reason I say that, because, uh, you know, I say a saying sometimes. I, I thank God when I get up. I st- say it to my wife or whoever, man, that I woke up this morning and put my pants on my leg instead of on my head, that I woke up in my right mind. Man. <laughs> Man, that, nah, for real though. People don't think that people the, don't the, even think the, think like that. Your mindset to to wake up in even the right mind, able to get up and get out the bed, and can walk, can walk. You know what I'm saying? Some can people talk, can't. Can, you know what I'm saying? Like, people get up out their bed and can't never even understand. I know a girl, and she my she watched this show. One day, she just went swimming right, and came back, and streaks of shocks come down her leg, and from this day to that, we've been about what? How long now? Been a while. About 10 years? Mm-hmm. 15 years? She ain't walk again. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? People don't think about this stuff. Man. But God is, God. I mean, not saying that something he's trying to get through that situation. Not saying, but but at the end of the day, thank God for the things that God has given you. And, sure. and, and, and that you do every day walking around here when some brothers not able to even, can't even drive a car because they ain't got no arms. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff like that that I think about and I, I value life on that level. But how old were you when you discovered God, well, for yourself? When I was younger. How old? Do you remember? Um, I don't remember how old. But how was he introduced to you? Going to church. Church, okay. Because you know how church. when you're young and going to church, a lot of times you're forced to go to church because it's like mama, yeah. daddy, grandma, whoever say you got to go to church. But as you get older, you learn how to build a relationship with him for yourself. Yeah. Usually sometimes something happened and you yeah. had to turn to him because, you know, when you're a kid, you're just going about your day. Yeah. How old were you when you found that relationship for yourself where you went and looked for him because of something that happened? Um, let me think 
for his first time young. Um, Usually teenager ages. Not really. Not really. Or older. I was really no, I was younger. younger. You were younger? Was, matter of fact, I was younger. My auntie had died. Yeah. Mm. She before, But this before she died. You know what okay. I'm saying? One day, me, her, and my uncle was at my granny house. Okay. I think she had like passed out or something. We're waiting on the ambulance. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just went to pray. Come on now. Like, God, please make sure my auntie good. Like, she shake back. You know what I'm saying? She ended up passing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know, that's the way it be, man. Like, you you, you, you don't never know what God... Because I tell people all the time, we always trip on death, but they say, man, if God, God, why he let people die? We don't know if death a bad thing because we ain't never been to the other side. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> How do we know? It's our selfish motive to want to keep them here. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's on the other side to see where they're going. Not so that sure. fear makes us get mad at situations. And that's what make us be disgruntled about things that happen in our life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, 3 a.m., let's go back to the music. Let me pull you up out yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 3 a.m. How was yeah, that yeah. doing that, man? 3 a.m. freestyle. 3 a.m. in the yo, late night. Yeah, yeah. Just went in one of them zones, 3 a.m., just popping it, you know, just went to popping it. You know, I'm really, like, laid back. Like, I don't even be talking to nothing, like, People see me, you know what I'm saying? I really be quiet, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, now I'm in that zone. Like, now I'm popping, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. in that zone now. Yeah. I was quiet now, but, you know. That's all right, man. Cause like I said, know, just the, the, the be unapologetically just, you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That was one of them songs. I was like, okay, I'm finna just start popping it. Like, yeah. That's all. Put it in their face, for sure. Yeah. At 3 a.m. on the ones, y'all. Why, okay, in the studio when you in there and you and you doing your thing, like you punch in or you write, you a writer. What you do? I'm a writer. You be writing. That's, I can I tell. I, I can, can tell. I punch in sometimes too, but I like writing. My I could tell listening to your lyrics. Yeah. Like I could tell you putting that time into yeah. it. That matters, don't it? Nah, for sure. For you, you know, everybody got their own process, yeah, and I think a lot of people process. lie. They be like, man, I don't write. Blah. Some of them was writing at first. Like when I talked to uh, D Haven about Jay Z. Uh, it was a thing where Jay don't write now, but when they was together, when they were kids and he was riding around, there was paper everywhere. You know what I'm saying? He was writing little notes yeah. on everything, trying to figure this rap style out, trying to figure it out. You know, people will say, hey, this one I don't write or whatever. You get to that point, you know what I'm saying? Because you do this maybe 10 years from now, you're not going to be the same artist you are now. Yeah. So at some point, you might break away and say, I don't even need it no more. But at a point, some people, just everybody different, right? Yeah, everybody different. Everybody different. You don't went in the studio with people and they don't write or, yeah. or, or they do write. And then I've talked to, who was that we talked to? Oh, DJ Burn one. He, was, he didn't tell me who the artist was. But down in Atlanta when I interviewed DJ Burn one, he was like, man, I got so tired of waiting on these dudes to punch in and they were trying to punch in, man. And Bun B walked in there, man, and wrote that blah, 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 blah real fast and walked out and left them niggas in <laughs> Cause he, you know, cause he used to, he ain't got time. He gonna write what he got to say, and boom, he out of there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I love the fact that you do write. Cause some people just write, some people punch in. And you just never know. Nah, for sure. Yeah, I like to write though. You like to write? How fast am I gonna get in and out of there dealing with you in that studio? We gonna be in there all night? Quick. Like, oh, it's going down quick. Quick. Like as anybody who did a song with me, they gonna tell you like. I'm yeah, quick, yeah. Like, as Ziggy, Ziggy, yeah. five ten minutes. It's over. I'm, I'm through with in that line on one take the whole song. Wow. How yeah. is it how is it working with Ziggy? Come on now. That's my boy there. Ziggy I gotta get him back Ziggy on the one show. The ones. Yeah, yeah. That's Ziggy, the new Dallas. Yeah, Ziggy hard, like. <laughs> he he, he counted the old Dallas too though. This nigga done been around to be young yeah, as he yeah, is. He done, <laughs> he done been around. I love it, man. What about your Uncle Willie's son? You was featured on that. Yeah. Like, what, what, what was that? boy. Who was it? What's the, I don't know. Willie. The guy. Willie. Oh, yeah. that, that's his name? Yeah. Wow. His like name Willie, yeah. He, okay. How was it doing that? I, the video looked fun. Yeah. Willie. See, Willie make beats. Okay. I grew up with Willie. Willie older than me. He lived across the street. Shout out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Willie from the east. He grew up he across the street. So, when he started making beats... You know what I'm saying? Me and him just connected. He he flooded me with the beats, you know. Yeah, that's Willie, hard. Willie, Willie, he wanted the ones. Willie wanted the ones. That's that's dope, man. He grinding. That's that's it's love, man. Go ahead. So I got a question. Um, you know, you always hear the popular phrase, "The truth hurts," right? Yeah. Tell me about a time where the truth hurts you. 
Meaning like, you know, sometimes you have friends who don't always tell you the truth, but you have those that will come and tell you the truth and you might not like what you hear, but it's the truth. Yeah. Tell me, had that ever happened to you? And tell me about that time. Um, let me see. Somebody sits you down and told you the truth and you didn't really like hearing it, but you, you know, you can't I'll deny it. I say my mom. Okay, my tell mama. me what happened. Mama gonna tell you the truth. Yeah, mama gonna tell you the truth for sure. Um, I think it was around the time, like, uh, I told her, like, I was finna start hustling, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she said, she had what she had to say, like, no, I don't want you to do that with the woo. You know what come with it, jail or dead with the woo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's really what come with it, you right. know what I'm saying? So. That's that's what that's the time I can say for sure. Yeah, you didn't like hearing it, but I ain't like hearing it. But you know, that's after true thinking though. about yeah, it, after thinking like, about it, yeah. I'm like that's true. But you know, I had still yeah. with my mood, but what she said was true though. Yeah. Wow, I, I like I said, I, I definitely uh, love this interview, man. Um, you definitely dope, bro. And I just say you keep doing your thing, man. But you got to give me your top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. I'm gonna say top three artists for me. Yeah, who it's I, your top who three. Who I listen to. Right. You know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna say Gotti, mm -hmm. Jeezy, and Ross. Okay. Gotti, Jeezy, and Ross. They're my okay. top three. Wow. I'm gonna listen to either one of them every day. Every day. Every day. For sure. Why you like Gotti? You know, I grew up on that Gotti for real. Like, Uncle Nell playing him, like. Gotti gonna talk that talk like that boss talk. Him him and Ross, they gonna talk that boss talk. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all boss talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they that's, gonna, they that's talking hard. they talking that boss talk for sure. Like, man, mm -hmm. he different, you know. Then Jeezy come through, Jeezy hustler of the year. <laughs> he gonna put you in that mode. You trying to run it up, you know what I'm saying? That's real. For sure. Yeah. So like you Got can't it. can't go wrong with them. Yeah. Man, I think, like I said, man, uh, how can people get a hold of you if they trying to rock out with you? Man, Headhunter on Mirror on everything, all platforms. All platforms? All platforms, Headhunter on Mirror. If you, if you could tell one young dude out there that's trying to figure out how to get in this game for us now, because now, you know, streaming and everything is not yeah. as lucrative as it used to be when music first was pushing, you know, and people were selling different yeah. ways, like... And they trying to figure it out, and they can't. They ain't making no bread. They trying to figure out what would you say to that person to try to help them to understand, uh, you know, this game. Like, like, what would you, what would you say to them? I tell them, man, keep just keep dropping videos, keep dropping. I keep, love that about keep, you. Keep it in their face, like that's all you got to do is keep dropping videos. And if you can afford, you know what I'm saying, promo, pay for some promo. It worked. It worked. You know it worked. Like. Just keep dropping it and promo. You talking with what they want to hear, you know what I'm saying? Somebody going to catch on to you, you know what I'm saying? You're going to start buzzing out of nowhere. Wow. I just want to tell you, you know, when you as you continue to grow, don't forget about Boss Talk. Some people, once they get, you know, get that traction, they start going to these other platforms and they don't never come back. I'm just saying, don't forget about us because we over here and we're going to keep on representing mm. you and pushing you no matter what. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So thank you for coming on Boss Talk. I appreciate y'all. Taking the sure. time out your day to come over nah, here. For sure. Thank you so much, man. God bless you. God bless y'all, man. <laughs> What'd you say? Come on, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing bigger than the album. It's Drop coming. It. It's we coming. Got, we, they got to go get that. It's on the way. Got to go get that. Got to no go skips. get that. Big. No skips. Ain't nothing bigger. I sure want to see you and Big X do one together. Come That's on, what he man. said that earlier. That shit be hard, man. On, man. Everything, hey, it'll we, be we, ain't, we ain't had the time to put it together, but we don't talk about it. I want to see that because I know it'll be big for, yeah, you know, Texas. For sure. a big thing. Hey, it's serious. Big X one to one. Oh, he is. Believe he me. He give me free game every time I, I salute him. He motivation. I tell him every time I tell him, like, what you doing is motivation. Keep going. Like, you know That's what hard. Saying? That's hard. I'm behind him. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. Thank What's you so up? much, man. Appreciate you for coming on the show. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Y'all need to go and check this young man out. Headhunter or Amir, one of them ones. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is sure. talk. And we out. Man.